Hi, I'm Staley Weidman with the Catamaran Company. Today we are on a Greenland 34 named Ghost. It's in Fort Lauderdale. It's actively for sale. The owner has just purchased a large 80-foot power catamaran and he's uh, moving on. All right, I'm gonna show you three unique features of this Greenland 34 that are not available on any other small power cat in this range. And remember, this is an under 200,000 power cat. Okay, this is the first unique feature of Ghost. Hard top, fully enclosed flybridge. These boats, when they were built from the factory, had an option for a small canvas retractable bimini. This is the only one I've ever seen with a hard top on an enclosure. They spent about 90,000 to do all of this. So it's all this welded piping, these uh, windows here. This is all new, very clear isinglass, plus the hard top fabrication. It's a really nice structure. All right, up here on the flybridge, you can see we've got this nice structure built. Brand new isinglass, all the zippers work. The glass is very clear. Got a nice seating area up here. You can have a few people on the flybridge with you. There's a bench seat here at the helm. You can put two people uh, there. We have a Lowrance uh, fish finder here. Garmin, eight inch chart plotter. This is the Garmin autopilot control, that's uh, new. And also Raymarine here, we've got a depth and speed. Also with the new Yanmar engines, we've got new panels here on the flybridge, so they're in good shape. The gauges all look good. And we've got a new uh, West Marine VHF radio. Boat also has Cirrus radio, it's quite nice. Well, look how nice this hardtop is. I'm 6'1", we've got plenty of standing headroom here. Total protection if it's uh, raining or the weather's not very nice. Easy access down the stairs to the cockpit. It's really a nice little boat. Here in the cockpit, uh, the owner's built a freezer compartment. It's top loading. It's huge, I mean, you could put, you know, bait, probably enough food in there for a couple weeks for two people. Uh, it's made out of starboard. It's nicely built and fabricated into this space and hardwired in. I think it's a nice, uh, nice approach. So you got a wet bar. There's a storage here. You can put some bottles and drinks there. You got the freezer right here. You could have ice. You got a sink here uh, to wash up. Make some drinks there. The boat has a Garmin chart plotter on it and also an autopilot. And this is a wireless remote for the autopilot. Very nice feature to have on a small boat if you need to step away from the helm to where you can always be able to control it if you're coming down from the flybridge. So here on Ghost, the owners fabricated this really clever device for raising and lowering the dinghy. This drops down. There's a wireless remote here that operates a winch with stainless steel cable on it that drops us down in the water, attaches to the dinghy, and then easily, with the push of a button, brings it up out of the water, safe and secure, and then it rests on these pads here. The owner's a smart guy, and that's a, a great application for a boat like this. Got a couple rod holders here, short power connection here on the back. We've got a storage locker here, some swim fins and things like that there. On this boat, the engine access is here uh, on the aft deck. Very, very easy access, and I'll show you uh, that in a minute. All right, here on the aft deck, got a swim ladder here. There's a washdown uh, fitting here with a power switch that uh, pumps out and put a hose uh, there, rinse stuff off on the uh, back. Um, plenty of room. I like this arrangement on the hull for a power cat. I think it helps the transoms from squatting. This particular boat has a pair of Yanmar 110 horsepower engines. They've been replaced. They're not original. Uh, so they're new as of 2015. I think we've got about 600 hours on those. All right, we're here in the engine compartment. 
These engines are uh, Yanmar, turbo diesel, 110 horsepower, super efficient, great fuel economy. It's been new soundproofing put in this area and the engines were replaced on this boat in 2015. All the hoses were replaced, uh, the through hull fitting, the engine mounts, uh, the muffler, the hoses, uh, there's a new exhaust elbow on it. Uh, they really did a, a first class job and all the uh, engine throttles and engine control panels and wiring harnesses are all new as well. I mean, you're basically guaranteed trouble-free operation and it was a very uh, nicely well done job. Port side engine compartment, once again, 2015 Yanmar engine, only got 600 hours on it, nicely fitted. The uh, master volt generator is here in the back, easy access. This panel actually comes out so you get good access around the engines. Um, it's really a very nice little pocket cruiser. Okay, forward, no trampoline, solid bridge deck. So this reduces some of the spray and water you'd get on the deck uh, on a cat this size. So it's a nice dry riding boat, very stable uh, and all solid structures. All right, up here in the forward locker, got a Leroy Summers electric anchor windlass, 800 watts, plenty of power to pull an anchor on a small power cat like this. If you don't want to use the AC or the generator on board, you have a uh, forward opening hatch and this really blows a lot of air through the salon. It's quite large. So as we go forward into the boat, you've got the uh, toilet, then the uh, sink and shower area, then a bulkhead, and then we're going into the aft cabin and then two aft berths. In the salon and ghosts, we've got a really nice little setup here. We've got a settee, easy to sit four people here for dinner, snacks, breakfast. Here in the galley, we have a three burner propane stove, a microwave. This whole area is air conditioned. You got a fridge with a little freezer compartment in the top. And we've got 110 volt AC units located here. Nice AC vent. The boat's been closed all day. It's very cool and comfortable. Um, really a nice, nice little pocket cruiser. Kind of a forward facing nav station. Got a display here for the generator. The boat's cool. It's got these nice uh, Texaline windscreens. There's a little bit of uh, crazing in the windows, but none of them leak. They're all dry. Uh, the headliner's solid. It's in good shape. Got all LED lighting in this area. And this is a two cabin, two head layout. So both sides are identical. You've got a large uh, berth aft and then a uh, head compartment forward. All right, down here in the port cabin, this area folds over, the door closes, so you have privacy from the salon. I'm gonna show you the berth. The owners put a very nice uh, aftermarket custom mattress in, so it's much more luxurious than the standard. Up forward, you got a manual head with a wet uh, shower in the, uh, in the head compartment, and then a settee with some storage space, I'll show you. In the port side, uh, aft part of the cabin, this is that nice aftermarket uh, mattress I was telling you about. It's comfortable, very cool. Got a couple LED reading lights there in the back, some shelving. Got a uh, small hanging locker here. Got another locker underneath the berth. There's two more forward I'll show you. And then also a uh, access panel to the back side of the nav station and also uh, an available storage area and settee. Uh, the boat's all US spec. It was uh, built specifically for the US market. It was shipped over when it was new. Got shelving here. Set to here, place to, you know, set things down, put a laptop. Uh, we've got uh, an access panel here, and you can also uh, store a few items there. Behind me going forward is the uh, toilet and shower area. It's a manual flush toilet. We've got more sh shelving up here for towels, this sort of thing. This is a wet head, so it drains and pumps overboard in this space, and you have a shower wand here that attaches to a fixed mount to take a shower. Exact same thing, mirror image of this cabin on the other side. This is Ghost, a 34 foot 
Fountain Peugeot Greenland Powercat. These are very rare, hard to find. This one's got three major pluses for it, and for the money, I think it's impossible to beat in the market.